This video is an updated video about a tool that I've been using for a long time, mainly for print on demand, but now more recently also for SEO. It's been a long time since I talked about this tool. It is completely free, although it does have a paid option, but I'm going to show you why you do not need the paid option and why you can just use it for free. So the tool is keywordtool.io. I suggest that you go there right now and you get it open and I'm gonna show you how to use it in this video. I'm gonna make this video in a bit of a different way. I've got the plan for this video here and if you wanna follow along, there is the Google document in the description. And if you like this style of video, please feel free to let me know. So let's make Google Trends searchable and also turn Google into our own niche research tool. We are gonna do this by using this tool. And what I mean by that is the first one using Google as our own niche research tool. The first option here is using the auto suggest on Google. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prompt this tool by using a few broad keywords that I already looked at before. And we're gonna see what kind of results we can get. And then I'm gonna show you how you can very easily check the keyword to make sure it would be worth writing an article about. What I will say before we get into this video is that the first part of this video is quite similar to just using Google Ads Keyword Planner. But the second part of this video, a little bit towards the end of this video, we're going to be talking about another method that will give you completely new keywords that even Google Ads Keyword Planner will not give you. Okay. So let's have a little look at the results here. So 1920s men's fashion. I've been seeing this keyword everywhere, okay? And I wanna very quickly check the kind of traffic potential on this keyword. So it is actually a huge keyword and it's definitely something that's growing. Like it definitely feels like it's growing. But this is a keyword that I've seen many, many times before. But what, what this does by combining um, keyword tool.io with Google Ads Keyword Planner. First of all, we can verify everything, make sure it's good, but also we can kind of bounce them off each other. So when I do my Google Ads Keyword stuff, I always do quite a macro view of the keywords, okay? But this is a much better way to do micro keyword research. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of do it nice and quick. And if I see something with insane amounts of key uh, searches per month, like some of these niches are huge. And 80s men's fashion is a pretty huge keyword. I guess it's because of um, Stranger Things. So something I could do, for example, I might write this down because that's a really good idea. <laughs> write articles based around the fashion of the 1980s, including stranger things references and then put our products that match the article into it so what i'm gonna yeah that's a really really good idea and i really should have done this before and there's loads of decades and i didn't realize how big this niche was holy crap three hundred thousand a month for this and you can see that all of the keywords are very much related. If you don't know how to get up onto Google Ads Keyword Planner, then there will be a video that shows you how to set it up. But you can see most of these are pretty much the same. So let's see if we can find any other ones. To be honest with you, this isn't actually the thing that I want to show you in this video. I just want to show you that this tool is capable of many different things. So another thing it can do is it can pick up questions for you. Personally, I like to use Google itself to do this, but if you want to do it much quicker, then this is a great way to do it. What men's trainers are in fashion? That's, that's a really... Oh, okay, because I'm, I need to put United Kingdom because they don't call them trainers in... It's a pretty small niche, but that's pretty interesting. What men's trainers are in fashion? Are men's chains in fashion? These are pretty interesting. What men's shorts are in fashion? Some of these could be quite big niches, to be honest with you. Let's just try something real quick. Um, are shorts in fashion? Shorts in fashion. Yeah, okay, you can stylish shorts for men. That would be an interesting one, I guess, for sure. 
So this kind of reminds you of things because we sell shorts. Basically, what I'm doing is in my head. I'm not really explaining this process while I'm doing this. I should probably explain it. What I'm doing in my head is I'm assessing whether a keyword or an article is good, and I'm doing that in real time because I know that my I know my niche inside and out, and I know that we sell shorts. So if I can find an angle to help sell shorts, then that's definitely something I would like to do. We're just gonna do one more search here. Um, dress for men. That doesn't mean dresses for men. It means ways to dress for men. Um, and we're going to go back on keyword suggestions. And then after this, I'm going to show you something that's going to absolutely blow you away. So make sure you stay until the end. Dress for men for engagement. Mm. Okay, so as usual, there's just the basic stuff here, guys. Let's talk about something a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Dress for Men, and I'm going to go to the Google Trends section right here. And this is where it gets super juicy, guys. You can see here that there are some really interesting keywords here. Best casual dress combination for male. So for me, I probably would have never thought of finding that particular keyword. But as you can see, it is actually like a decent niche. So you could do like casual dress combinations, men, and maybe see if the niche is a little bit bigger, which it is. It is much bigger. So that is a really, really good niche. That'd be a really nice article to write, like how to do combinations to be casual, how to do combinations to be formal. We could also do, so let's get rid of casual. We've just discovered two amazing niches uh, in a very short amount of time. I'm guessing this is not particularly competitive. So what we can do is to check competition. I like to do all in title and then just doing it like that. There's only eight on uh, Google with that exact combination of words in the title, which is a pretty good sign to be honest with you. And then I found a really, really good one before that I really want to show you guys. So this is the kind of best way to find things outside of Google Ad Keyword Planner. I do use this at work and I have found some amazing keywords using this. So my favorite search right now has been men's attire and this has given me some super, super interesting and super interesting niche keywords, which is the most important thing. So men's Christmas party attire, for example, obviously Christmas has already passed, but you can see that when it's Christmas, like these three months here, you could really, really pop off if you plan carefully. So I'm going to show you a couple more tips that I wrote down in the Google document that you may have already read if you had already opened it. But let's just check a couple more of these. Golf attire, I just, it didn't get in my head. I've, I haven't seen this for a while. Polo attire has just popped up as well, which is very interesting. Football attire is very interesting as well. But this one for me was probably the most interesting one, which is the roaring uh, attire, roaring 20s attire for men. You can tell that this is something that is probably gonna um, continue. It's gonna be an evergreen niche. And there don't seem to be that many results, honestly, uh, on Google. All in title, Roaring Twenties are Time Men's. Let's get rid of that S, actually, and see if that makes a difference. Even less results. I don't really know why that is. but So I found this really, really interesting. Men's semi-formal attire. That's an interesting one as well. These are all really... Wow, that's a huge niche. That's a really good keyword. I'm guessing there's a, this will be really competitive. I don't think this all in title thing is working very well. <laughs> there's 12 million results if I just do a normal Google reserve, uh, search. So I don't think that's working particularly well. I think it's massively underestimating the amount of competition on certain keywords. This is a really interesting niche, though, that I haven't written about. So this is definitely giving me a lot of ideas for things that I haven't necessarily written about already which is a good sign and it means that I've got another way to very quickly and very easily find new keywords to write about using my basically my one shot keyword methods to write chat GPT blog posts. If you haven't seen that yet, then I do highly recommend that you check out this video here, either this video here or this video here. 
So dominate SEO with this chat GPT-4 prompt or pass AI detection with chat GPT-4. Both of these are really, really interesting videos and I think that you'll find it very, very helpful. But I do want to say I do have some tips for making this content definitely rank on Google. And one of them is actually writing the content yourselves. So although it's tempting to use chat GPT, I'm actually going to be writing, manually writing some content at work over the next few weeks. I'm going to be writing two blog posts a day manually, and I'm going to see if the amount of blog posts I write and like the amount of time saved by using ChatGPT is actually worth it for me. Or if I'm going to have to start using, going back to manual, basically, because I've got the time to do the manual for sure, but if I'm going to generate more traffic using ChatGPT, then manual just doesn't seem worth it, but we'll see. Using mid-journey to create eye-catching featured blog posts or thumbnails um, is definitely a really, really good way. Using GPT-4 to write titles that are clickable and that use the correct title format. Article Fiesta recently released a free SEO tool that you guys should check out, which will show you if your title is the right length. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And then using the keywords, keyword methods that I talked about in this video. All of those things combined, you can very easily get some quick wins that will help you rank on Google using this keyword method. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, check out this free keyword tool because it's really, really interesting. And it makes Google Trends searchable, which I personally find incredibly important. Peace out.